Now at 633, the man who police say killed a Yale grad student in cold blood will appear in court later today. Yeah, you may remember this case from earlier this year. Eyewitnesses reporter Roger Suzanne joins us now live in New Haven. And Roger, break it down for us why today's hearing is so important. Yeah, good morning, Wendell. Good morning, Nicole. And you are exactly right. Today's hearing could be very important because a judge's decision could basically determine whether or not the defendant in this case gets out on bail before this case is actually resolved. And certainly we know a lot of eyes will be on the courthouse today because this case has been getting not just national attention, but international attention as well. Investigators have shared some details about how they believe the horrific murder of Yale grad student Kevin Jiang went down, but we still don't know why it happened. Police say 30-year-old Ching Xuan Pan shot and killed Jiang three days before Jiang's 27th birthday, and not long after the Yale grad student had gotten engaged. And we know that Pan and Jiang's fiance knew each other. They met while both attended MIT. But prosecutors have not outlined any possible motive, and Jiang's fiance says she and Pan were just friends. Investigators say Pan tried to run after the crime, but U.S. Marshals tracked him down about three months later, allegedly living under a false name in Montgomery, Alabama. Now back in Connecticut, he's trying to regain at least temporary freedom by arguing for lower bail. Right now it's set at $20 million. His attorney wants to reduce that figure to about $1 million. And again, today's hearing, which really is key in this case, will begin a little bit later today at noon. We'll have full coverage all day long, including on the Channel 3 app. Reporting live in New Haven, I'm Roger Susanen, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.